This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Finchley here at my gym. With me, I've got Don Charles and John Riley. Um, how are you guys all right? Doing good, man. Doing all good. good. All good. Right, so just to uh, back up a little bit, I've just learned about this interesting new concept that you guys are developing. Uh, so I'll start with you, John, because you're at the forefront of this as well. So just explain to us what you've been explaining to me uh, over the last couple of weeks, your plans to do. Sure. Um, I've done a charity event. Um, I live in Holland. And uh, I've done a charity event in Holland um, to raise money for clean water in Bangladesh. And um, during that process, I was training with a trainer called Lucian Kadbin, who produced fighters like uh, Alistair Overeem, Gilbert Ivel, Tyron Spong, and many other fighters. And I was really impressed with the fighters in his gym, you know. And um, I make film. I've done a few documentaries and stuff, and I thought it would be a great idea to do um, uh, and write a story about uh, two boys coming from the discipline of Muay Thai and kickboxing and turn them over into boxing. And um, I've known Charles since I was a, a young man. So, um, so I knew Charles was already in place with the, with the boxing training. And I approached Charles about the idea and he said it, it sounds really good. So I flew in one of the boxes of which uh, Charles um, trained with a little while and he, he was really impressed. And that, but that boxer was a little bit lonely, so I asked another fighter to join him. And um, basically we decided to film it as a documentary, but I wanted to put a twist on it where everybody that was involved is on film. I'm on film, the cameraman's on film. It's a, the camera guys are just recently just left college. And instead of staying in hotels, we went on the internet and asked people if we could stay on their couches. So we were staying in different houses while we were here and basically just trying to get this thing together. So we're at the point right now where the boys have, have trained and um, they're, they're ready to, to fight. They've had their medicals. Hopefully they'll get their license in, in Holland and come over here to f find some boxers to fight. And I've recently had an interview with um, uh, a meeting with Spencer Fearon, who has a show on February the 20th. And he said that he would be more than happy to put the boys on there and um, we're going to split. Originally, my idea was to make a two-hour movie, but we've now decided to split it up into, into episodes so people can see the journey a little bit more so the boys, by the time they get in the ring, will have some sort of following. And it's an intriguing idea, and both the boys are bangers, and Charles, and Charles can tell you what he feels mm. about them. What, why did you decide to get involved in this stunt? Well, various reasons for the cause. Yeah, for the cause, like he said to you earlier on, um, how he initially started this um, whole thing uh, with the water for Bangladesh. And um, I've known this young man for, for a long time, many, many years, when he was a young man, still a young man in my eyes. But nevertheless, um, it's one of those things in life, we're both striving uh, for long, long period. We're purists, in whatever we do, we're purists. And um, I'm doing what I'm doing on the boxing side. And now we're going to merge to do this project together, which um, is a really, really good project. Um, when he first, John um, first approached me with it, um, loved the idea, um, the crossover, the turnover um, of these fighters. Um, who are, one of them is actually a world champion in his own rights, in his own uh, industry, the mixed martial art, MMA, kickboxing, uh, multi world. And um, I thought it was a very interesting thing for them to cross over to try the boxing side of things. And I've met the boys a few months ago, like John said, um, they came and lived in London for a period. And um, whilst I trained them to see if they've got that X factor, they had it in abundance. Um, they're, they're very disciplined um, from their background, as in the multi background, very disciplined. And they brought this hard hardness with them, you know. They're, they're very disciplined individuals. And um, I'm really excited about this project. I'm looking, I've been working with them um, when they're here in London. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to, for, to see where this ends up, where, where the boys having uh, contesting as, as boxers. In boxing rules, they're not, they're not going to be um, uh, kicking uh, in the competition. They're gonna fight purely as boxers. What, if there is a negative uh, drawback to this, what, what do you think it would be? 
why 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 might it not work um i can't see it not working mm -hmm. the only problem that, that we had with the boys we couldn't get anybody to spar with them you know i brought um one of them had to go away to, to japan to, to fight and then we left the, the 20 year old here <clears throat> and um Charles put him in the fire, I think it was about a light heavyweight or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and, and, and he, yeah. he stopped he stopped him in a well, first of all it was like it was, we, we said that we should take it easy because he was worried about the other guy's weight advantage. And then um, my guy was a little bit negative, holding back, so Charles said, you know, tell him to turn it on. So I just said express yourself and he stopped the guy immediately to deliver. And then um, we went down TKO and um, done a, a, a little bit down there and he, the boys seemed to do very well. So I think both of them, you know, their trainer is Lucian Carbin and he's a very unique kickboxing trainer. He produced some, some great fighters, but he, his understanding of the boxing movement for the upper body is, is very good. Yeah, and we, the collaboration that excites me with Lucian Carbin. Yeah? Carbin. Carbin. The, uh, the collaboration, I mean, you've got a, a legend from his field crossing over again to work collaborate with myself, which is, is, a, is an honour to, to, to be able to work with such a, uh, an individual from, here, from that background. And um, yeah, the collaboration excites me. And um, you know, we, we, we've met once, isn't it, when he came over with the boys and uh, you know, we got on really well, we gelled and um, yeah, it's, it's really an exciting project. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to, the, to the boys actually uh, making the grade because I, I really believe they will make the grade in the boxing world and uh, make a mark. Like John said earlier on, yeah, the hardest thing has been to actually is to get in them sparring because obviously it's all down to me understanding how it works about funding, it's about being able to pay. You can get sparring about paying. Yeah. We don't have the, the budget to be able to facilitate uh, the whole spectrum of, of, uh, of bringing a boxer through. So we have to get sparring where we can get it and when we can get it and that's uh, been the biggest thing. But you know what? Where there's a will, there's a way. Um, we will persevere and uh, uh, get them to, to have a competition. Mm. I mean, over the years, there's been many cases of uh, people from the mixed martial arts world uh, trying to hand at boxing and even boxers going over to mixed martial artists. Like, um, I mean, th there was always talk of uh, Roy Jones sure. fighting uh, Anderson Silva. That was always a fight that was yeah. talked for a long time. But the crossover, the yeah. crossover works better from them to box, from kickboxers to boxing. That's right. Yeah. Like the other way every time yeah. boxers have gone to kickboxing, they've mm. got slaughtered. Mm. Yeah. Because they don't understand how to, uh, mm. you know, to block, yeah. see the kicks so coming and stuff. Point, point taken, point taken. Um, like you said, the crossover seems to work the other way around better for the mm. kickboxers to, to, to come over to our world and uh, and do and do well and, and do well. But um, you know what? It's all love. It's all of the same family. You know, fighting in general, whether it's kickboxing, Muay Thai, mixed martial, it's all of the same martial art. You know, so it's it's good. The integration is really good. Mm. Um, I think it's um, something that's it's, it's happening more and more now. Yeah, I think an in interesting example is what we spoke about earlier. Albert Kraus, yeah. who was a who's known as a kickboxer, who's now, uh, I think, 3-0 and as a professional boxer. Yeah. So, um, you know, we've interviewed Albert a couple of times and, you know, he's, it's a steady progression. It's not going to happen overnight. Sure. Uh, but, you know, until it's tested and they've mm. done it and failed or succeeded at it, you can't that's say the either bit, way. That's the bit I can't wait for. And it was a, it was a beautiful journey for me as well because it, there's, like, it's, it's a star-studded movie, you know what mm. I mean? It's like... Spencer Oliver's in it, Spencer Fearon's in it, Charles is in it, Derek Don Charles, is it? Too, my friend. Don Charles, sorry. That's right, don't uh, do it again. Sorry, <laughs> you, get, you get fined. <laughs> and, um, you know, Derek Chisora, you know what I mean? If I've missed that, anybody, I apologise, but there's a lot, of, a lot of people that wanted to help. You know, once, once, people, once people find out what, what this is about, they've, always, they've, they've all supported it, which is a brilliant thing, you know, um, because, you know, there's so many fighters around the world from all different backgrounds, you know, and no, no one, uh, let's, for instance, these two characters uh, involved in the project, the fighters, if you didn't bring up this idea, right, okay, bring them to the light, sure. you, you, who knows what they're going to go on and achieve in the boxing world, that means they'll be lost. Yeah, it's almost like the program's X Factor. If these programs weren't about so many talents that have been discovered and people's lives been changed, you'll never hear of these people. There's so many talent out there, mm -hmm. you know. And I think things like this is really, really good and encourages other people, other kids who, you know, what I can do that. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah so I, I think it's, it's that was, positive all around. That was the thing that made me deal with it because these boys, you know, when I train when I train with them, they really the training is crazy. You know, it was like a hundred kicks per leg and. And you know, and, and the wars they go through getting elbows. Is, you know, with boxers you just have, you have to worry about padded gloves hitting you. Those guys they're dealing with bone, hitting bone. You know, elbows hitting faces and knees and, and shins across the face and all, all types of business. And these guys are getting paid peanuts. You know, nobody even knows they exist, but they're world class level. Mm, you know what I mean? Mm. So I just thought that if they, if they use it, if they apply themselves in the same way in boxing, they could make a little bit more money. I suppose. Can you see um, a slight backlash from the, the hardcore boxing fans about this kind of idea of? Mm. Can you see? Can you see anyone opposing this sort of thing? I don't see why why, why they, they would because it's like I said, it's all a part of the same martial art family. Yeah, it's a crossover, the turnover. No, I don't think so. But, but listen, all the audience are interested in is to get a good contest. Yeah, yeah. It's got a good contest, and uh, I don't believe they will oppose it. I don't see the reason why anybody should object or oppose such a thing. I think. At the end of the day, they're so boxing. Yeah. They, 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 they've come. They're not. Mimicry is flattery, right? They've come to this sport and they're learning boxing because they respect boxing. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So you know, no, I think if people be more for it than against it, I don't see. You know, they're not kicking. They're not coming to boxing. If it was different, if you're saying to get a boxer to fight against a Muay Thai person, we're not doing that. Mm. They're purely coming to box under the boxing rules. Mm. Yeah, regulated, fully raised. This is, this is not unlicensed. This is not illegal fighting. This sure. is all proper. The medicals have been certified. Yeah. The boxing board have been uh, sanctioned uh, their, their authorizations for these um, athletes to compete. Well, I mean. I know you, we only spoke about this a couple of weeks ago, so I know you've got a long-term plan for this. So you know it'd be interesting to see how how it develops over the next coming weeks and months. So I mean, the target is that, like I said, I had a meeting with Spencer Ferran, and he said to me that he wants, he loves the idea, and uh, he said that once I start breaking up the film into, into episodes, he'll run it himself, and he said that he wants to put them on his show. So um, they've got till the 20th of February yeah. you know, to get ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Like I said, we'll uh, we'll follow this up in uh, in the coming weeks and, and you know see how. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm interested to see how this develops. I'm yeah, it's, it's very intriguing so, for all parties, you know. So uh, yeah. and we, you know, appreciate your support, IFM London, you know. Like I said, um, you guys have done numerous um, things with you guys and. Um, you're the boys. Alright, no problem. Alright, well listen, John, uh, Don, or Charles. Can I call you Charles? Don Charles. You get fined. Alright. You get fined. One session in your gym and I'm a member of your gym, am I? I'm afraid so, yeah. Alright. Listen, thanks for talking to us. We'll, uh, we'll catch up with, we'll continue this story uh, in the coming weeks, like I said, and see how you're developing with it. But um, thanks for your time today. Much appreciated. Alright. No problem. Coogan Cash is here with John Riley, Don Charles, here in my gym in Finchley. Thank you very much.